Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curie by Natalie, and I'm back with another $2 outlet thrift haul, all of which is to resell online on Poshmark, Depop, and a little bit on my Instagram, Curie by Natalie. This haul is cumulative, meaning that I sourced it at both the Goodwill outlet as well as the Family Thrift Center outlet. On average, each item cost me around $2, but at the Goodwill outlet, it is weigh and pay by the pound. At the Family Thrift Center outlet, items are priced at $2 a piece. This haul is super big. I actually got some stuff to take to buy sell trade stores, but I'm not even going to include it because I got so much stuff just to resell on my own. So let's go ahead and get started with all these gems. Let's kick it off with the shoes. First up, we have these cherry red Doc Martin Oxfords. These are seriously in perfect condition. They look like they were never worn. They do have a little bit of scuffing right at the toe, but I think that's probably just from being in a shoe bin. They're a size seven in men's, but they are definitely a unisex style, like all Doc Martens. That equates to, I think, a women's eight. Not for sure, but I definitely will post that in the listing. Super perfect. So obsessed with finding them. I love when I find Doc Martens at the bins. You just know it's going to be a good day. Then we have these 90s Tommy Hilfiger platform square toe boots. These are so cute. They're genuine leather. They do have a little bit of watermarks right here. I did go ahead and clean them and condition them, but that still didn't get them out. Sadly, the previous owner didn't condition them before wearing them in the rain, but nevertheless, still a really perfect shoe and super trendy. These are a size six and a half, by the way. All of these items should be up for grabs by the time this video is posted. I'll be working on listings as soon as I finish filming. Then we have these 70s inspired Dr. Scholl's sandals. They are really cute and they're actually not real wood, so they're really comfy. They're a size nine and they're in really pretty perfect condition. I am super excited because they are in season and I love adding things that are in season because they tend to move a little bit quicker. I also found another pair just like those ones with polka dots, same size. They're probably from the same owner. Somebody's probably just cleaning out their closet. These ones do have one mark of wear right here, but I definitely will note that in the listing and account for it in the price. I'm hoping somebody will just automatically go ahead and bundle these. So that way, you know, they just have two pairs of shoes perfect for summer and can mix and match as they want. Another pair of sandals rainbow leather flip-flops. I've personally had several pairs of rainbows. I love them. They're super quality and they retail for I think 70 or 80 bucks. So these are in pretty great condition, minimal signs of wear. I went ahead and picked them up because they're in season and they're a really quality shoe. The one thing with them is that they don't have a size on them. So we did have to just measure from toe to back to get the size. I think they're a women's 11, but they could also be men's. But after looking at the styles online, this strap is a women's strap. So I do think that they're a women's 11, but definitely a unisex shoe. Okay, wait, this is a pair that I may or may not keep for myself, still trying to decide, but they're really cool and a great brand to find. These are Fry slip-on sandals, just so freaking cute and trendy. And they're literally my exact size. Like how am I not supposed to keep them? But I'm like, profit, cute shoes. I don't know, but when else am I gonna find a Fry for like $2? Never, so I probably should just keep them so. <laughs> These might not be listed. If if they're not listed, I'm probably keeping them. But super cute. I think that I'm probably gonna keep them. <laughs> then we have these 90s 
heels. They look like real leather, but they're actually faux leather. Um, pretty impressive to be honest. I wanted to keep these for myself because I think these are so fun, but they're a size 10, so they're not my size. Hence why I should keep the shoes that are, but so cute. If they don't resell on my resale platforms, then they're definitely a shoe that I'll take into buy sell trade stores because 90s items tend to do really well there. Staying on that 90s Y2K trend, we have these wooden heels with a metallic base and these fun pink and blue straps. These are the brand of Bikini. It's an Italian brand and it's really expensive if you buy it new. I want to say like 150 or more. Obviously these are used so they will not go for that much, but I still think it's a cool thing to look up. These are so fun. They are a size 38, which in US is around a seven, seven and a half but a, such a fun shoe. I really kind of wanted these to be my size. I tried to put my foot in them, but don't quite work either. You know, you win some, you lose some. Then another 90s Y2K shoe, these suede clogs. This is genuine leather. The wooden looking base is not real wood. It's man-made, but still cute and trendy for sure. Very little wear on the heels and overall great condition super cute i think these will do really well on i want to say hopefully depop when i was at the bins i saw my friend there and she was like yeah no i just sold a pair like that on depop so i'm hoping the same happens with me <laughs> and these are such steve madden dupes these are those iconic 90s y2k platform slip on sandals they are not actually steve madden but really similar they're a size 10 and they're in perfect condition they still have that size tag on the bottom just a little bit of wear i mean they're definitely vintage the glue on the edge is kind of showing a little but other than that pretty perfect and such a fun trend last pair of shoes is just a closet staple piece these leather oops, these leather zara heels they've got a fun little cutout and they are also a size 38 which again is around a seven and a half i think these will do pretty well they definitely retailed for around 90 dollars, but zara doesn't resell for as high as it retails so i'll likely list them for around 30 and see how they do from there now for the close of the haul First off, we have Jams World, which is one of my favorite vintage brands. It's so 90s. This is a size large, beautiful orange, warm tone maxi dress. It has these really cute buttons on the side. I did take model pictures in quite a few pieces, so I'll try to go ahead and attach those. I was just feeling like being outside, so I went up and took some pictures on my parking garage, and I think they turned out pretty good, very deep poppy. so I'm excited to get these pieces listed there. I love finding Gems World, and actually, I was, you know, thrifting, we're all hustling, but somebody was kind of rude and just like stepped in front of me to take over a whole rack and they like shuffled through and they missed not one, but two Jams World pieces. So, you know, you gotta be nice and you'll win some cool pieces. This one is really so freaking cute. It's got all these little flowers on it and then like these fun bowls of fruit. I don't know. It's just such a funky fun dress. It's this vintage James World tag. I feel like this one's a little bit more of like that standard tag. It's a size three and it's seriously so cute. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with it. I kind of want to keep it, but it's a little bit too small for me. So I would have nowhere to wear a dress that is riding up all the time. Patagucci, you know, it's a good day at the outlet when you find Patagonia. This one right here is the Los Gatos women's sherpa pullover it's in pretty perfect condition there's no flaws or anything um the fur is in really great condition it's not matted it's a size women's large and just a great classic 
Patagonia piece. Patagonia will move pretty fast. I don't know how fast it'll move when it's almost summer, but nevertheless, you never pass it up. This is just a cutie style based pickup, a fun little bucket hat. I think it's so fun for summer. I probably kind of just put it on wrong, but such a great piece. I love finding some fun accessories to add to my closet. Then we have this Free People 100% cashmere sweater. This sweater is actually still for sale on their website, but this color is sold out. This color is orchid and it's just a great piece. I feel like we all know what that Free People tag looks like. This is a size extra small and just a great quality piece. Finding cashmere at the outlet that doesn't have moth holes in it. Great, great day for sure. Then there is this brand new with vintage tags, Wrangler Western button up. This is such a cool piece. It's a size 16 and a half. I don't really know what that means because I don't wear men's shirts, but a really cool piece. And I'll definitely include the measurements to kind of gauge how it would fit a human that doesn't use 16 and a half as a measurement for their clothing. <laughs> then I picked up this fun little bodysuit because it's brand new with tags and I also looked up the comparison pricing on it and it looks like it's sold on Poshmark for like $40 so I really can't complain picking that up and it does have the tags so we know it's not gross but a really cute piece it's a size small and the brand is J Luke's label. Ooh, these were a great find and they were all together. So I guess somebody just went through their sports bra drawer and got rid of some things. So this right here is Buff Bunny, a cute little bright blue sports bra, size extra small. Buff Bunny is one of those brands that I didn't know when I first started reselling. So definitely a tag to look out for. They release their stuff in collections. So sometimes you'll go on their website and you actually can't get into their website because they haven't released new items yet. So that I think makes the resale market on it really hot. So definitely a brand to look out for. I found another Buff Bunny sports bra. This one is a really pretty gold. Again, that same label and also a size extra small. And we're not done. <laughs> this one is not a sports bra though. This is a swimsuit top by Buff Bunny. It doesn't have the little peace sign bunny ears. It's got this little silver tag. It's also an extra small, so I really think somebody just went through their closet. But a great find for sure. Such a pretty piece. I love this matcha green. It makes me want one for my own closet. Then these are some pieces that I picked up to add to my own closet. However, you can try items on at the outlet. So I just gauged from the size and they don't fit. So I am going to resell them myself. They're not necessarily brands that I would normally pick up, but I can't wear them myself. So might as well try to find a new home for them. This is just a Forever 21 sports bra. I really liked the ribbing on this because you could layer it with something like overalls and just kind of get by with it as a crop top. But like I said, it doesn't fit. It's a size medium, but a really cute piece. Then we have this, I don't even know how to say it. I think it's game sports bra. It is really fun and again just not quite the right fit it's a size extra small i don't know what i was thinking i thought it said size medium but it clearly doesn't so it doesn't fit neither of these have great resale values but i would rather sell them at ten dollars they're an easy quick photograph and they are super easy to store so i'd rather them find new homes than worry about that threshold that i normally look for Another great piece to be on the lookout for is Barefoot Dreams. This is their classic 
circle cardigan. It is a size small or extra small small i did try it on and it is so cozy i just don't need another black sweater in my wardrobe so i'm gonna resell it but it is so soft i mean all those things that are like it's the softest sweater ever are kind of true then we have this zara dress this is a beautiful midi dress it is a mock neck with such a fun daisy print on it I was lucky enough to find the stock photos of it so that way it models it really well. This is a size extra small so I would struggle to model it myself. So I love finding stock photos to help show the full potential of styling a piece. Okay this is kind of an odd pickup but by doing a little research, I realized it definitely is a good piece to pick up. It's this fun cat covered dress. The brand is Hell Bunny and every single one of these dresses have sold on Poshmark, like everyone that was listed. And this brand consistently sells for $35 to $40. So I cannot complain with that comparison pricing. It is that pin-up style with a halter neckline and just such a fun piece. I honestly picked it up because I was like, oh, this is funny. I might take a picture of it to, you know, post on my Instagram, like, oh, a day at the bins, what you'll find. But a great dress for sure. And to top it off, it does have pockets on it. So a dress with pockets is just a great dress in my eyes. Then I picked up this fun bodysuit. It's brand new with tags and I really love the material on it. It's a nice sweater material. It's kind of not heavy, but just thick. So you don't really have to worry about layering it with anything else. It is a standalone piece. It's a size extra large and it's brand new with tags. It's just New York and company, but honestly, I just love the feel of it. Really cute, has that thong back so you don't have to worry about panty lines and just a fun piece okay now i have a ton of overalls i'm obsessed with overalls i don't know if you can tell i'm wearing some right now i actually got these from my friend caught second handed she resells on instagram and poshmark love her pieces um and i decided to swap out my overalls for a new pair so these are my old overalls that were in my closet they are a size small and they're the vintage brand honors. They're a really great quality pair of overalls. You've probably seen them in some haul videos. They were my go-to pair last year. So I'm going to rotate them for this pair right here. Then we have another pair of overalls. These are just the brand No Boundaries, which yes, it's sold at Walmart, but they've got some really cute features to them. Specifically, the little cinch back at the waist. I love that. Just a cute classic pair of overalls. You would never know that they're just from Walmart. They are a size small, and I definitely will account for the fact that they are from Walmart in the price, but I really can't pass up a cute pair of overalls, like, ever. <laughs> Then we have these, which I really want to find a model picture for, but I have yet to find. I just personally cannot rock them the way that they should be rocked. They are a really cool halter neck, button front, wide leg pair of overalls from the brand Ashley Stewart. It's like a catalog brand. I did a little bit of research about it online. They've got really cute plus size pieces. This is a size 20. I'm gonna try my best to take some cool flat lay photos to mimic a try on so that way I can show the full potential of this piece because it's seriously so cute. Sadly, I just can't really model it the way I should or hopefully I'll find stock photos or whatever you call it. Anyway, so that way, you know, we can just see it all, right? Then we have another pair of overalls. These right here are vintage 90s denim old navy overalls they're a size medium and they have no flaws pretty perfect super cute really obsessed with them i love a good pair of short overalls 
not overalls, but still vintage 90s. This little denim zip front dress. It's so cute. It's actually vintage Target. Here's that acceleration tag. It's a size extra large and it's just so cute. I am so into the 90s style right now. It's so fun to thrift for. Then we have another Y2K 90s piece. This little belted waist mini dress. It's a size medium, but I'm telling you it fits like a small, extra small. I did do try-ons for it and it was tight, but it's such a cute piece with these little cap sleeves, that little belted waist, and it's the brand Highway Jeans, which I know nothing about. <laughs> I purely picked this up based on style and I think it's a fun piece for sure. Another style-based pickup, very 90s Y2K. This tie front zebra blouse with bell sleeves. So cute. Oh my goodness. Obsessed with it. It's also a size medium. Really fun piece for sure. I feel like it would look so cute with those platform knockoff Steve Madden heels. A whole look right there. Then the last piece of the haul is this beautiful vintage new with tags silk dress. It is just gorgeous. The beanie is immaculate. And the thing that makes this so amazing is that I found this at the bins. Typically dresses like this are absolutely butchered because they're not protected. But this one was actually in the bag. It came in from Chadwick's. I guess that's probably like an old belt or Macy's store. So cool that it has this protective bag. I just took it out to take pictures and show it off in the video, but so cool. It's a size 16. It's the brand Lawrence Crazer. So cool. Such a fun piece, very excited for it. I did look it up and this brand in vintage beaded dresses typically sells for around 90, but those ones are not new with tags, including the bag. So I'm just really excited because it's such a gem. That's all for the haul today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. You can also head over to my Instagram, Curated by Natalie, to follow along where I'll post sometimes story sales, just style of the day pictures, etc. And if you're interested in purchasing anything seen in this video, you can head over to my Poshmark and Depop closet tagged down below. Thanks again for tuning in today. Bye!